Welcome to www.abapeople.com. How do you think about sin? What is sin? Today we have with us our brother, Scott Wood, who's going to tell us what is sin. Scott, what is sin? Well, basically, sin is any infraction that goes against God's law. And God's law is His moral commandments. We find them in the Ten Commandments. You know, the Word of God tells us that there's certain things that God requires of us or asks of us not to keep us in a box, but to keep us safe from any attack of the enemy. And anytime we break those laws, anytime we go against God's Word, then sin has entered into our lives. And how I could escape from that reality that I'm a sinner? There's only one way, because the Bible says that all of us have sinned and all of us shall fall short of the glory of God. And there's only one way to be saved from that curse of sin that comes over our lives, and that's through the name of Jesus Christ and His sacrifice on the cross for So us. when we receive Jesus Christ, you receive His power to be changed. Yes, when you receive Jesus Christ into your heart, you receive not only his life, but you receive the, what He has done on the cross for you, which has freed you from the curse of death that comes through our sins. What could you say to many people right now who is uh, looking at this video that they are living in sin and they don't even know that it's sin, but they are living in despair, anguish, and darkness? Well, the Word of God tells us that we are to live a life of blessings through the name of Jesus Christ. And right now, if your life, if you have turmoil, if you have sickness, if you have depression, sadness, chances are you have sin in your life and you may not even know that you have sin in your life. What you need to do right now is you need to ask the Lord, ask Jesus Christ right now to come into your life and then read His Word because that's where God instructs us. He gives us His Word, the Bible, so that we can be enriched, so that we can learn how to live a life full of His blessings. So there is an exit for your tunnel of darkness, and the name of the exit is Jesus Christ. Could you pray for the ones who are suffering right now? Scott? Absolutely. Father, right now, Lord, I lift up every person right now, Lord God, that is feeling oppressed, that is feeling depressed, that is feeling sick. Father, those that don't even know you right now, Father, we just pray for them right now. Father, we just pray right now, Lord, that you would touch them with your Holy Spirit. Father, that the Holy Spirit would come into their room right now where they're at at their computer. Father, bring your Holy Spirit that brings conviction of sin. Father, that they might receive the salvation and freedom found in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, reveal yourself to them right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, Jesus loves you. Call us, contact us, because we want to help you in your new journey. Blessings.